coverage of the military plane crash, which crashed earlier this week, leaving 16 service members dead. We're learning more about the local Marines and sailors who were involved in that deadly crash over Mississippi on Monday. We now know the names of three local service members who died that day. WNCT's Elizabeth Two joins us live with more about some of the identities we now know. Elizabeth. Ken, Joe Murray, Staff Sergeant Joseph Kundrat, and Corpsman Ryan Lowry are just a few service members, part of the 2nd Raider Battalion who died in that crash. And now their families must begin the difficult process of coping with the realization that their loved ones are gone. Murray's father tells us that his son was devoted to his family. He swam, surfed, and played guitar, and his pastor says he was active in church. Uh, he went to a uh, mission trip with our church, took an active role in, you know, trying to dig a well for the local community where they were, where they were at. Uh, Joseph really had a servant's heart. Other local service members are described as respectful, dedicated, and outgoing. Colonel Michael Scalise, the commander of Camp Lejeune, says he's grateful for the community support so far as the families and comrades of the service members begin their grieving process. You know, whatever it is we can do to help those families, we're there to support. And you can feel that out in town as well. I mean, people are offering what they can do. And uh, I think that's, that's just a great statement about what we as Marines and sailors do in support of our military as well as the community. We are expecting a formal press conference tomorrow announcing the names of all of the service members in the 2nd Raider Battalion who died in that crash. Of course, we'll be in attendance and continue to update you. Live at Camp Lejeune, Elizabeth Yu, not on your side. Elizabeth, thanks. We're tracking a developing story out of Onslow County. A woman's body found in a bike path near the camp gate of Camp Lejeune. The body